it's so hard to find channels nowadays. And I would count a, an account on Instagram or mm-hmm. Twitter of a person as a channel just as much as I would count ABC, mm-hmm. who's televising Dancing with the Stars. Right. They're all channels. When, when I was a kid, we had 40 channels. Yeah. And then in 2000, when I graduated from high school, we had 2,000 channels. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, uh, we've got millions of channels, maybe billions. And, and so if we've got billions of channels, uh, what we want to do with Influencer is, through a dashboard, through a system that allows an aggregation of accounts to be in one place, see all the brand tentacles that are your student athletes representing your school and empower them with a plan. Yeah, no, as I think about, think about it in real time, I'm sure there will be resistance from the athlete. Because the athlete doesn't want to be monitored, and they don't want Big Brother. No, they don't. They don't want Big Brother. They don't want. They don't want to be told what they can and cannot do on social media. But in some ways, being held accountable, just like you would, just like you are, not would, just like you are on the football field, is the most important thing that can happen to them. Yeah. Right. Because what? What? Let's say Nick Saban is teaching a left tackle that's going to help him. You know, win a game on Saturday afternoon and hopefully get to another national championship. If that same type of message is presented to that same athlete on his social media account, this is this isn't going to help you get in the NFL, but this is going to help you monetize yourself down the line. Even if it's just getting a job, building your brand, right? Whether you're in the NFL or not, is invaluable to this player. Mm-hmm. And so, while initially he might say. I don't want to be monitored. I don't want to be put into a box and told what I can and cannot do. It's actually probably significantly more valuable than what Coach Saban is telling him to do is going to get him into the National Football League. And then around our dashboard, we help our clients, the universities, equip the student athlete with content from the paid media staff they have and equip them with education from guys like you, guys like Gary Maynerchuk, right? Yeah. And so full circle, that's our our initial approach. But like you said, it's an ever-evolving field and See, the beauty of, of the, this world, and it's no different than with my company, which started as Thuzio, and now as two businesses, Julius, which is a SaaS product, and the Thuzio Executive Club, which is an event company, you're going to pivot. You're, yep. going, to, you're going to learn along the way yep. and realize this works, this, this doesn't work, um, uh, and this is what my client or my user mm-hmm. needs. Yep. And, and it, it will, it will, it will it will build itself, no different than a child. Yep. You give it direction, but eventually a kid learns how to walk. 